Welcome to Passing Clouds, movement number 18 out of 19, the 19 movement and one pose series of Tai Chi Chess. So here we go. This is what Passing Clouds looks like. Demonstrate and then we'll practice it together. Um, this is the only movement that starts to your right. Um, all the other movements, you know, we start on the left side, stepping forward with the left foot or to the left. Um, but this is the only movement that will start to your right. And I'm mirroring you just so you're aware of that. So sink, gather left, step side right with that Tai Chi step, meaning you put the heel down first. The bottom hand trails. And the hand passes the elbow as it comes up. This is very important. The bottom hand passes the top hand's elbow as they switch position. And then because we open to the right, we're going to bring our Right foot back to the left and close back to the left. So let's break this down. Um, we'll just do the hands first. So um, we're just going to start with your uh, left hand. Relax your right hand. We're not going to do anything with that um, just to get the hand motion um, sort of in your body memory. So to start, we'll just turn the hand comes up to the shoulder and then trails across the bottom. And then the, the waist turns a little bit and it comes up and then trails right around the chin. It doesn't go much higher than that, right around chin. And then turns, turns open and trails again. And then, after you've done that a couple times, let's introduce your right hand. So we're going to let both hands go. And just freeze here. So you have a backwards shaped L, bottom hand by the elbow. It doesn't touch, but it's very close to the elbow. You can see the top hand comes on the outside as the bottom hand comes straight up from the forearm. So it doesn't come inside. That's, you don't do that. Top hand outside, bottom hand straight up and then come across. So now you have a forward pointing L, top hand down on the outside, bottom hand straight up from the, the hinging at the elbow, and then here. So here's your L shape. Here's the L shape. It's like the bottom hand Trails is trailing water very gently. And then we'll let this hand come up and close. So let's try that with the legs. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll just do one hand to start with. We'll start, we'll do that. We'll just do we'll relax this hand, which is your left hand. We're gonna start with, I'm sorry, your right hand. We'll start with your left hand sink, gather left, step out and touch with your heel first and then the foot stays nice and planted, lateral waist twist, and then don't worry about this hand, just come across, open on the outside, here, waist twist, and you know we've been talking about the hip swivel so if you want to untuck, the, stick out your bottom just a tiny bit to the back, waist twist, tuck. The pelvis under. Untuck. Waist twist. Now you can introduce the other hand if you want. opened to your right, 
We'll close back to the left. This side. Hand weights. The other one comes around and everything sinks. Take a breath. Um, we'll just do it with this hand now. I just wanted to throw that in there to see, give you a little extra challenge. But here we go. So if we're starting to go to your right, which we are, we're going to sink. This hand just relaxes. Step. The other hand does its thing. And then this hand comes around. So we're just doing one hand now. But we can practice the hip swivel. So It's easy to get lost inside, bringing the foot as you're doing this, even as you're making a video. So here we go. Let's do both hands. Okay. Sink, relax. Your right hand, sink into the left side. Step right, shoulder width apart. Bottom hand comes along. And then the right hand joins in. Here's your L shape. Come up and on the outside. Here's that L shape. Top hand comes outside, bottom hand comes straight up. Untuck bottom to the back, tuck the bottom under to the front. Don't let your bottom hand cross the midline too quickly. It trails behind. Waist twist. So you shift your weight fully laterally, you waist twist, and it's the waist twist that pulls the bottom hand up and activates the top hand moving down. The waist twist pulls this hand up and activates, and really it's the dantian within the waist twist, but if you want to think about sort of an expansion, contraction, motivating agent, it's the dantian and the movement that we're cultivating within the body with our focus here. One more. So we went to the right, now we're going to close back to the left. So this hand waits. Right hand and right foot come up and everything sinks. Take a breath. Now it's passing clouds. When we count passing clouds, it counts one and there and back again is one repetition. So we do then six repetitions or nine repetitions. We don't do it to the other side. 